One thing that you must understand is that everything that you've been taught, everything that you've been taught is about uh, finance, about markets, about marketing, human resources, anything else. A lot of it is theory. You will be doing it when you go into the real world. That's true. But implementation of what you've been taught, implementation of what uh, uh, your subjects are, is not a cause for worry. Either you make mistakes, in which case your organization will hide it, or you'll be successful, in which case you will yourself propagate and broadcast your successes. So it's easy. Markets are different. You know, markets are unforgiving and very punishing. And why do I say that? If you make a mistake in the 30, if you are in the uh, stock exchange or 5 p.m. if you are in the currency markets or 11.30 p.m. in the night if you are trading metals, what happens once the markets close? If you make a mistake today and then what is the next thing that happens after the markets close? You got a statement telling you the exact quantum in rupees of the mistakes you made. Today you made a mistake that cost me one and a half lakh rupees. That's not funny. That's direct, directly attributable to what you did or you did not do. So the markets actually ensure that you are accountable every day you are in the markets. It's really effectively doing nothing but still going on. Markets are not like that. You do something in the markets, you have to prove your ability by 3.30 p.m. today. It's remarkable. It's, it's one of the most socialist environments that can ever be. No matter who you are, no matter where you come from, no matter what you've done, whether you're educated or uneducated or, uh, I don't think un uneducated is the right word, or partially or semi-educated, the markets will equalize you. By 3.30 p.m. or if you are a currency trader, which most many people should be or will be, by 5 p.m. the markets have told you what you've done, whether you are wise enough or foolish enough, whether you are intelligent. So we are going to talk here about the markets, which is what my subject is. And the first thing I want to tell you about the markets is this, I have a very high opinion of the weather. Will you excuse me, okay? I don't have a very high opinion of NBS. <laughs> but I think they are pampered and probably uh, far more overrated than they should be. So we start with you know my telling you exactly what I think of you. That is very much pampered, very numerous. So can I give you are going to take jobs which have nothing to do with the markets and good for you. I told you that you will spend years before your organization ever knows what you are doing or not doing. Usually not doing. And then you will switch jobs. I, my nephew uh, was in the uh, model. <laughs> but you are a lot of scope. Markets are not like that. Your level of incompetency is told to you every day. Okay? It becomes a very difficult business to be. Well, with this. Uh, Brief introduction and my telling you what I think of you. You will not tell me, of course, what you think of me. <laughs> then the dialogue will become into a convert into a slanging match. You don't want to do that. I'll tell you something of the markets. We'll share some small points and hopefully you'll enjoy it. I will give you, show you the other side of life. You know, that's that, that part of the business where we are held accountable every evening. This is very, very uh, different. What really happened was that as economics developed as a discipline over the last two or three hundred years, from Ricardo to Malthus and onward, and Adam Smith, so there was this concept that we are all rational human beings. So this is supply and this is demand. And if supply goes up by X points, then demand will come down or the price will come down by Y points because we are all sensible, rational human beings. So the entire discipline of economics developed on the foundation that we will do what is sensible. And once we do what is sensible, then the laws of economics start taking effect. 
Then we had business, business management as such. So business management it derived from economics. It then eventually bloomed into a discipline by itself, but it, it started its roots from assumptions that we are human, rational human beings. So we will do this, this, this. Now the problem came when it, we started implementing. In the last part of 20th century, uh, some of the smarter people said,